Okay, I'm Tim, uh, and I'm a food columnist, a food writer, I live in Seoul, and I've, I'm from the UK originally, and I've come back to the UK this summer, lovely, glorious weather, British weather, uh, and I'm here with my father, John. Hi. And uh, I, we're just going to talk a little bit about Korean food, because you've been to visit me a few times in Korea, haven't you? I have. Yes. What were your first impressions of Korean food? I remember lots of small dishes, I remember um, some uh, incredible meals uh, over in Korea. Do you remember the name of those small dishes? Ah, the name, no, the taste uh, can be. <laughs> okay. The small dishes are called panchan, uh -huh. okay? So we, you could roughly translate that as side dishes. Okay. Can you remember any of those soups? I might get this wrong, but was there seaweed in one of the soups? Yes, that's correct. So there was seaweed. Uh, do you remember the name of that soup? No. Okay. <laughs> That soup is called miyokku. That soup is called miyokku. How about the panchan themselves? Do you remember any of them? Bean sprouts win one? There's one with bean sprouts. Okay, it's called kongnamul. Okay, kong how about one made of spinach? Uh, yes, I do remember yeah? one made remember of spinach. Remember that one made of spinach? Yes. Uh, there is one made of spinach, and that one is called shigamchi namul. It's called shigamchi namul. And we make them all together, you and I. And uh, we have that for dinner. What we're going to do first is we're going to make the miyoko, which is the seaweed soup. This is the seaweed, we're going to use this, but it's actually dried seaweed. We're going to put it in a, a big bowl with a lot of water and it's going to actually uh, rehydrate and it will expand to 10 times this size. Uh, Bukok in Korean and uh, this is a great snack, you can just have it with some beer, but actually it is also um, something that we can use inside the miyoko to give it some more flavour. So we're going to use these as the base, and then to give it some flavouring, some soy sauce, a little bit of salt, some sesame oil. We're going to rehydrate the two main ingredients. So we're going to cut these up into, into bite-sized pieces. No need to be too exact, I don't think. I'm going to, um, I'm going to heat it up. So put it on the heat here. Five minutes or so on medium heat. You can see it's already um, steamy a little bit, right? The colour of the water will actually change and become a, like, almost a white colour if we've done it right. <laughs> well, let's hope for the white colour. Let's hope, <laughs> let's hope we get it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's pretty much, especially when you make a soup or like, a gulp like this. So we give that a bit of a stir, and then when it starts boiling, we'll leave it to its own devices. Next stage is we're going to make the shigumchi namu, okay, the spinach. We have just uh, three ingredients that we need for the moment. British spinach that we've got here is quite soft. Korean um, spinach is often a bit tougher, so you need to cook it for a bit longer. And we're going to put it in uh, hot water, uh, boiling water for about 30 seconds, to drain it. Okay, so now we're going to take it over here, give it a blanch. Okay. Okay? Uh, spinach in. Just going to blanch it, so about 30 seconds. Drop the whole lot in there. Okay, there we go. Then we'll just give this a little bit of a stir about. Yeah. Just get rid of all of this. We're actually going to give it a rinse with some cold water. It should be okay. We don't need to completely get rid of all the water, but the more we get rid of, the better it will taste. So, now it's time to make, uh, time to finish this off. We're going to season it. Um, drained, uh, and blanched spinach. We're just going to put a uh, pinch of salt in first. Yeah. Okay. Of sesame seeds. All right, and I'm going to put a bit of sesame oil in here. Okay. And I'm going to mix this with my hands. In Korean, uh, there's a thing called sonma, taste of uh, like home cooking. It literally means uh, using your hands. Uh -huh. So would you like to be... I feel like, like I, I should volunteer. There you go, okay. Tony like that. that. There you go. What do you think? I think I'm back in Korea. <laughs> I think I'm back in Korea. <laughs> okay, success! <laughs> the last thing we're going to make today is we're going to make the um, kong nam. We need to pick through and get rid of um, Anything that has uh, like these little things here, the um, sprouts, the the, the, um, the shell, and then if you see there are like the tails here as well. Uh -huh. uh, we need to get rid of these roots as well. Got one, and that will make it even tastier. 
So here we go with the bean sprouts. For about a minute this time, you can be in charge of the timing. Here we go. So you're looking forward to eating all of this? Look, we've got our, our meal. Nice. It's coming along very nicely. Look at that. Wow. The smell of that. Yeah. I think it tastes like some good pop. Look at the colour as well. Man. Absolutely. We're getting that white colour we want here. I think we've done about a minute, haven't we? Close to, yeah, just about a minute now. Got to be careful mixing these with your hands because it's still a bit hot. Sure. Okay. A taste of that, one of these. Um, a bit bland, no? Yeah. Mm, just a bean sprout at yeah, the moment. Yeah, just a bean sprout. Nothing, nothing really special, nothing very Korean about that yet. But wait, the magic is about to happen, okay? Roll on the magic. Raw garlic, good for you. Sesame seeds, okay. A spoon of uh, soy sauce. The sesame oil. Here we go. Now look at that, it's changed colour already. You can smell, okay? Oh, and it's changed. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Five stars here in the UK, so it gets six for a one operation in the UK. Okay. I think we're pretty much ready to start eating. Are you, are you hungry? Am I hungry? <laughs> yes. Good. All right then. Well, let's uh, let's get eating. Let's go. Just before we eat. Quick quiz, do you remember what any of these dishes are called? Uh, have a stab at this one. Yeah. Is this neon gook? Neon gook. Yeah. Neon gook. Good. Wonderful. Any idea about these ones? I don't think I should try. Chicken <laughs> okay. tin and kong namu. Okay, so all of these vegetable things are namu. So, alright, enough uh, talking about food. How about eating some food? Some really interesting flavours. <laughs> yeah? Mmm, really interesting flavours. Do, do you think it's as good as what you might have in Korea? I, I can taste Korea. As soon as I put that in my mouth, it's that I'm there. Really? Yeah, okay. I am. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Like pour a bowl of rice into the soup and something mm. like that. I've seen but that done. I'm sure I saw that done. Yeah. But I quite like just dipping a little bit in there. Yeah. Like you've done for biscuit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, so there we go at the end of our food journey for today. Next time, you're cooking. Oh dear, <laughs> are you sure you know what you're yeah, asking yeah, for? Yeah, that's it. Okay, okay. Right. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> it's been great. It's been fun. Thank you.